Hello traders, good weekend, Vladimir here and this is the weekly forecast for the week of uh, 15 of August 2016. Well last week was extremely quiet week until Friday, then the news from USA came out and basically started to kill the opportunity uh, um, of increasing the rates in the US. This week we will have the uh, FOMC meetings and uh, I believe that everyone will be waiting to hear what Miss Yelin will have to say. So let's go over the chart as it's getting tricky last week after the like uh, after non from payrolls report expectation were wow everything looks great for in increasing the rate but last Friday with the retail sales and other uh, report other data to that came out we saw how sensitive everything in reality is the job market is improving but people do not spend money that's the bottom line and that's summer okay that's summer people are supposed to go for vacations spend money blah 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 getting ready for the new uh, uh, autumn and everything right and basically that doesn't happen at least according to the last data came out so it will be extremely important to hear what the Fed has to say because without the Fed it's all about the rumors and the best fact would be actually to show the report how it looked like after releasing the data take a look guys boom and by end of the day it ended up pretty much in the same place so rumors on one side reality on the other side um, I'm skeptical currently but again it's only based on the rumors that the Fed will be able to increase uh, the rate uh, but his word her words <laughs> um, this Wednesday could change the game once again so we have to be very very careful we have few things to follow this week and prepare the plan for possible trading let's start with the euro dollar most interesting uh, for uh, most of traders uh, basically what do we have here uh, on the euro dollar we hold this double bottom right but on the same time we are holding a trend line so basically can currently the pair does not do nothing, right? Does nothing, and uh, that's where it might re keep moving until the breakout up or down. Now, some part of me wanted to go higher, and for one reason, the higher we go with the euro dollar, the better the sell would be. That's pretty obvious because the situation in the eurozone is very, very, very bad. It, it is only question of time until Mr. Draghi will have to take an action and every rally would be great opportunity to go for sale and the best opportunity for something like that would be if we have a duplication of this cycle that's above 130 now if we take a look on the first cycle that came as a rally the 161 of it would be exactly the same place it's in between 113 to 114 so for me that is a possible buy and I would make it maybe riskier, but I would do look for possible buy again. This is a trend line that currently holds. Oops, sorry, currently holds on uh, the euro dollar. The 20 may hold. That's 11080. So I would say that as long as we remain above it, we could try to look for buy opportunities. And the best thing to do for that, actually, would be if we if we can. And I repeat, if we can, because very important to see how the week starts if we can get something like that if we can and we break this trend line to be created that's what we will have in our idea and we can start to look for buys towards 113 up to even 114 potentially until we will get some bearish divergence against us then it will be the best time to cash out Okay, break below 11080 and we have to reconsider this bullish opportunity. Oh, well, that's my idea of the euro dollar. Pound dollar, another interesting pair to pay attention to. 
they did cut the rate they didn't increase the um, purchases the quantitative easing but in reality the pound does not really lose much of its value if the Fed will not increase the rates that's time for reversal so looking on a four hour chart basically we did have one false break we did have second false break but we did not have any break yet uh, to create higher highs so what i will want to see for the pound dollar do in order to start buying is at least breaking above the last trend line which is here because we do have bullish divergence potentially creating here if we can manage to return and rally above the trend line and above the last high then and only then we can look for pullbacks and try the buy opportunity relying on the fact that daily might be creating a double bottom for us and if that's the case there is great chance we are after 136 and now let's take a look how the cross in between uh, behaves the euro pound slowly approaching to the level we have been talking about not once not twice you remember this level guys 087 up to 088 we are almost there we are coming we are there divergence between these two only creating but it's not a real fact because that's not a good place so we will need to see that's not a good place since because only because this is the real high of the move not this one this is only the real high of the move and this is also higher than this the previous cycle highs so that's what we have to pay attention to and between these two we don't have divergence so basically it has to recreate itself so don't rush to put the button very likely that 087 080 zone will be respected and for that we have daily divergence forming we very likely will face some kind of a reaction down but i am not quite sure yet this would be the all-time high maybe it will most likely do something like that then we will recreate it and start downward it will take time as this is a daily chart but we are coming for a potential top now if we apply statistics let's take a look what happens statistically here uh where is it uh where is it where, where did this disappear here it is found it <laughs> uh, okay so if we take a look here on the apps okay, we can learn that 14 for example is extremely powerful date and we are right there right now today this is a weekend right and if it is not respected now and it's going to be respected by the end of the month as you can see here that's the next important date so we are coming to the reversal it might start now with the beginning of the week big chance for that but i wouldn't rush now if not then the next week by the end of the week that's where we are expected to start to see the tops now i wouldn't as i said i would not rush here i would be very very careful and i want to see it going below the last low now this is the place where we have to pay attention to that's where last two candles goes and this is the low so we need to break below 07 085 75 we will also break below the last trend line here and that's where uh, and how i want to see the reaction if at all we can talk about sales so we need to break here pull back and we are after sales how far well maybe first of all we'll start with this trend line to aim short-term profits and then we'll stop and see what's going on and as i said if it does not start it by this week let it continue to flirt around these highs until the next week and we remember where we are going to hit according to the statistics on the next week so keep an eye here very 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 great opportunity one to follow for sure okay let's continue the next one on the list is going to be pound franc another interesting opportunity coming here this is what we have pound franc and according to the weekly cycle it's kind of a mirror to the euro pound so from here and lower we are after divergence it's going to be very very interesting we are after potential divergence here as you can see okay so we need to gain the momentum up in order to start buying break above the trend line and go above higher highs in this case this is the place 
128.85, 127 zone, also above the trend line. If we can rally here, d drop down, that's a buy opportunity for us. Okay, so we need to do this. And then we can talk about buys. If it does, that's not, does not help, does not hold and go lower, we are after the next levels. And the next levels, according to the cycles, would be, let's take a look. This is currently where we are, 161, you see how potentially great reversal it is. But if it does not ha uh, hold here, we are going for the next cycle. Next cycle could take us down to even 120. Just remove it, okay? Even down to here, even below 120. Now, if we take a look on a weekly cycle and measure it, guess where we are going? Okay, we are here on 124, 123. So basically, this becomes start to become a monster up area for us. But we are not going to attack here blindly. The best thing would be let it reach this area, let the breakout happen of the last trend line, higher highs to create the momentum and start the attack. And this way, even if we fail once and create new lows, we will be re-waiting for another breakout and then re-attack. Our goal, small risk, great reward. How far can we be expecting this pair to go? Well, 131 could be easy, the first opportunity, first target. Gap on 133 and second target. And after that, skies are a limit for this one maybe all the way to 32 38 two of this uh, double cycle around 135 136 so you can imagine how great risk reward it could be okay so we have to pay attention to this one as well now that's in terms of all the pound pairs so we don't need to overexpose i always say that we need to find it to choose the, the best ones okay and how do we choose the best ones? Risk reward. Okay? I remember that, guys. All right, let's continue. Next one on the list is going to be one of my favorite OZ versus DIN. I was after very heavy longs here once it broke the trend line. Was trying this long, but it failed and closed on break even. Now, the question is what's coming next? Watching on a weekly, si weekly cycle, I am only after buys. Watching on a monthly, only after buys. Watching on a daily, only after buys. We had two waves up, we need two waves down. This could be the second leg down creating right now. If we can get it, that's around 75-ish. Uh, uh, Let's measure it. Here we go. Take a look, guys. That's approximately 75. A bit higher, a bit lower, all acceptable. That's a potential bullish divergence to be created. So we need to keep an eye here. And if we reach this area, for sure, we would start to look again for buys. And that should be, according to the weekly cycles, one of the greatest opportunities. As long as this bottom holds, I am only after potential buys. And if this bottom will not hold, then we are going for this. I know it's very, very, very early right now, but this also could happen. And that will mean we are after 86 before we start the monster reversals. So, um, that's the opportunity, keep an eye, that could turn to be amazing call. Now one, two actually very interesting pairs, we have that's OZ dollar and OZ Kiwi. Now OZ dollar technically still under bullish pressure and it makes a lot of sense to look to buy dips here. But statistically, OZ dollar reached you see where the top is? 11th. If we do the statistics, 11th is the top. And we had two false breaks right now creating. And that's amazing opportunity, which means we can start to drop lower. And we can start to make at least a short term correction. How that could work? This is the, the last double cycle we have. So we could go to 38.2. That's approximately 075.85. That's too short, right? And then we we'll take a look on the triple cycle we've had one, two, three. It means which means we can go to fifty. That's 07460, which gives us approximately two hundred points to try and to take profits at. Looking on the trend line, that makes sense. We can get there. 
Now, how can we all try to uh, actually long uh, to short that, right? We got a break below the trend line, retested and holding, right? We got below through this trend line, it's breaking. So we need on the one hour chart right now, right? We get two waves, two waves correction, and we are in a down move. We have a bearish convergence here, right? Which isn't really good because that's not the first low. But even from here, even from here, we can start to look for any kind of uh, a move down and retrace. So what I want to see here is actually something like that. Boom. Into maybe back to this trend line. Marking this trend line of the correction and breakout below it. That's what should give us minimum risk for potential best reward. So keep an eye here, guys. That could turn to be great opportunity, which after we might switch and look for longs again. I mean, the 083, 084 zone for duplication of these waves. New Zealand in dollar, another monster. And the reason this pair is a monster is basically because of the Central Bank of New Zealand, who also cut the rate on the last week, but on the same time said they do see and expect the New Zealand dollar to rally towards 075.90 by the end of the year. If the Fed is not going to increase the rates, that could actually happen. So I would be looking right now for two opportunities. Opportunity number one, we are in the range. We are still sitting and holding on this range. So biggest question what's going to happen from here. We could start the rally, breakout, retrace and try to buy, look for buys, looking to hold this trend line. Opportunity number two, we are after two waves down here, one, two, we're from, we are going to look for buys again. Okay, so again, many, many things would be depend on the Fed this week. But the bottom line, if they are not going to increase the rates or even hint about it, dollar could be very weak despite the non-firm payrolls. You see, the sensitivity on the market is well felt. Every change is very well felt on the moves. Next one on the list is going to be the cross in between them. And let's take a look what do we have on this pair. We got a cut from Australia and it rallied. We had a cut from New Zealand and it dropped. So <laughs> it's really not, uh, not really logical. But the pair is still under bullish pressure. There are two ways, uh, two ways uh, we can start to move right now. Uh, very logical to see some kind of triangle here now before we break it up again. Very logical. Maybe even two waves down. Okay. But for me, every, every, every drop followed by bullish divergence is opportunity to go for buy. I'll make it short for you guys. Every drop here, look for buys. Any strategy you use, I prefer breakouts after ABCD especially. I prefer false breaks. I love false breaks and momentum will change. So basically, this is how I love to see my actions. Let's say false break, momentum will change and that could be really good risk reward opportunity. So uh, that's why I love it so much. And you can use any opportunity you want, but just remember the scenario. One of them is triangle. So on the bottom of triangle, look to buy. Second is two waves down and then looking for buys. Both can happen. We are fine with anything. Another opportunity is just to go for investment based on the weekly cycles. It's also doable scenario here. How long we are aiming? Well, based on these head and shoulders, we are after 113 at least, probably even higher. Uh, next one on the list is going to be Aussie versus the Canadian. A pair I was looking after uh, 103, which was not reached. This divergence took it over. Uh, we got a false break completed and it looks great. Right now on the four hour chart, 
making convergence as well. Uh, now take a look on the statistics, exactly like the OZ dollar. This one also have a statistical top 14. This is now, now, now it, because of weekend, of course, it happened on Friday, but it could also happen on uh, a day before, a day after. So it's a really nice opportunity, but we cannot just jump in. So we are looking, what do we do here? What do we have right now here? And the answer is we currently have one double cycle down. So we could expect something like that rally and one more sell to make long story short one more last final push down rallies okay so we will be looking for something like that trend line maybe okay or reversal to again resistance around parity slightly below and look for sales we expect now for potentially creating something like that that's doable possible especially if we count this triple cycle we can easily expect the 50 percent retrace of this cycle here which is 097 plus which gives us great opportunity to look to to make some pips on the reversals keep an eye here guys really looking good and in terms of weekly this is still a resistance this is still double cycle just not approaching to the 100 sorry the 100 we wanted it's fighting the 61 yet so basically it could be short term resistance and that's why we are after short on reversals which brings me to the dollar canadian and here is what this pair doing as long i will make it short as long as 128.50 holds for me, the opportunity is still for buys, especially if the Fed does not cut the rates. That's what we get. Okay, that's bullish hidden divergence between here and here. On the four hour chart, it is creating a divergence as well. So what I want to see right now, basically, very simple. I don't have many requirements. Break about the trend line. And on the one hour chart, we did have one false break. I want to see the second one here completing. So for that, I want to go above the last highs. Now, since this is not a real high, because this last two candles of the down move was broken, I want to go above these two candles. So I want to go above 130.10. Okay, I want to cross above it, and then we are easy to go with buy reversals. Something like that. Whoops. Retrace and look for buys. If it breaks below 128.50, that would be very likely a bearish call. And then we will be after sell rallies, probably for new bottom. Dollar yen, well, that's a mystery, a pair I would not want to deal with right now. Honestly, uh, it could easily fly higher from here. And on the same is it could make 98, 95, maybe even lower. So I don't have a clear view here. Sorry guys if I disappointed, <laughs> but uh, I really don't. Euro Yen, I would want to deal with buys if we can re cross below 108 to, co to complete this uh, uh, kind of uh, cycling here. 108, 105-ish, then we'll be looking for uh, buys. Uh, so for me, it's yet sell rallies. Ideally, I would want to see the rally towards this trend line but or at least this trend line then go for sales same with pound yen which still could slowly take us to 125 ish um, so for me it yet remain bearish but i'm really really not confident about any setup um, right now next one we have on the list is going to be um, let me Check my list. Cut Frank, which I love very, 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 very much. And Mr. Cat Frank, what it has for us is a monster trend line. See that? That's a monster trend line, guys. But it also creates a potential bearish hidden divergence. On the four hour chart, it creates a potential divergence on regular. And it has a cycle of 
uh, 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 61A. So the bearish pressure very likely to start. But here comes the but. The long term is still buying. And I want only, 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 only buys. If we break above the trend line, that means buy retraces. So that would be something like that. If we can break above this trend line, gain the momentum, retrace and look for buys. If we just bounce from the trend line, then let it go. It could go to here or it could go even to last lows before we are after buys again. Every dip we have, ideally after break of the trend line, buy, buy, buy. This pair should continue much higher. Oil, well, 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 oil did exactly what expected. Is it a good time to look for shorts? We do have divergence. If it will hold, we can talk about shorts, definitely. Okay, so on the one hour chart, we can see how it's uh, slowing down. We did have one false break. We want to have another false break. So we need to turn below. We need to break below the last low here. Okay, like boom, breaking down. Retrace and we can go for sales. If there will be no surprise, oil should turn around from here for one more final bottom. And again, if there will be no surprise, because th there could be also a situation where we are breaking above this trend line here and the last high around 46.50 and switching to uh, uh, buy retraces. But currently, I am after possible shorts. S&P still same principle, same idea. It just playing on the same cycle. It could still, especially if the Fed will not increase the rates, go and try slowly, 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 slowly climb, 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 climb a bit more before down move takes place. We need to see lower lows before talking about possible breakouts. Okay? And one to pay attention to, that's the German DAX, which looks really amazing in all technical views, uh, especially on a daily chart. We do build a double cycle here. Here we go. Okay. We do build a special cycle here. So anything in between this high to 11,000 11, puts us in a monster bearish pressure. But what's the best way to look for sales? First of all, break above trend lines. We don't have any yet. If we don't get it yet, then the best way for to be to short is false break, lower lows, retrace, and sell. Before we have it, don't try to make a hero call. Big chances it will fail. So wait for your opportunities. Don't force things to happen. They will happen when Mr. Market will be ready. Remember that. We don't want to force. So that will be all for this week. Keep an eye, guys. We are in summertime, so moves are tricky. And don't feel strange or weird if during the week you don't find best opportunity or the results don't look like you would you would actually look, want to. On such periods, the most important thing is to minimize losses. Remember that. Don't try to be a hero. Don't expect every week to pay you thousands. That's simply impossible. Mr. Market cannot do that. And I want you to remember the bottom line. For everyone you would hear anywhere making $100,000, there will have to be 100 simple guys to lose $1,000. Don't do these mistakes. Wait for the opportunity to come. If it doesn't develop, cut. Minimize your risk. Free your risk. The goal of a trader is first of all not to lose money. And if you know how not to lose money, you will know how to make money. It will follow. Profits will follow accordingly. 
Exactly like in boxing match. First idea is not to get knockout. Learn how to defend. How to run away from the hits. And then you can attack. With a good counter attack you win a match. With a good attack here you make profits. That's the entire science of trading. And I want you to remember that guys because everyone wants to trade and trade more and more and more and make more and more and more. And that's exactly the traps Mr. Market creates. And that's where every new trader and even experienced traders fall over and over again. Don't do that. Be clever. Learn from the mistakes. Learn from what the market is telling you. I can tell you by last week I got around 60 or 70 emails about the euro pound during the week. It's time to sell. Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to sell? Why? Just because it looks like coming to the top, guys, come on. You can imagine how many people lost money by trying shorting that too fast. Passions. Passions is the key. You try to be a hero, most chances you will fail. Mr. Market is the hero. You cannot beat Mr. Hero. Okay? And remember, don't try to make some hero calls or uh, just to be right. No one cares how many times you are right or wrong. Trader's job is not being right. Trader's job is make money. Analyst job is to be right. Trader has to make money. Be on the trader side. Thank you very much for your time watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to share with anyone you believe that will have any benefit by watching this video. It will be my privilege to uh, and uh, um, honor to be helpful uh, for your friends or whoever you believe um, could find it helpful. If you like the video, click uh, the like button, please. If you have any comment, a question, idea you want to share, um, please leave it on your comments. And that's all. Thank you once again for your time. I wish you a wonderful week. Great trading. I'll see you soon. Vladimir.